The Atlantic's coral reefs bustle with marine life, natural paradises filled with creatures of all colors, shapes, and sizes, including the lionfish. But this species is far from its native habitat. In fact, it's a sign of troubled waters. A lionfish is a beautiful, wonderful, ornate reef fish. It's native to the Indo-Pacific Ocean. And now in these oceans, we have lionfish, which don't belong, swimming all over our reef areas. From scales to tails, Lad Aiken studies lionfish for the Reef Environmental Education Foundation. How did they get here? Well, they're super popular in aquariums. And just like we see with other things, people sometimes set their pets free. And soon, a few abandoned pets started multiplying. A single lionfish can produce two million eggs a year. And with no natural predator in the Atlantic, there's plenty of this fish in the sea. Year after year, their numbers keep growing and growing. Lionfish are always on the hunt for their next meal, gulping down whatever they can find. Many of them the young of fish we eat, like grouper and snapper. We could see extinctions of species. We could see reductions in populations of species we rely on economically. And those are worst case scenarios. You guys are removing a lot of lionfish from these surrounding waters. I'm a best case scenario kind of guy, and I see that we are engaging a lot of people right now. It's a great event. It started That's mainly through what Aikens calls derbies. I think we should hand out some award money and prizes. Competitions across the U.S. and Caribbean for scuba divers to kill as many lionfish as they can. The goal is to leave no lionfish behind. For a better look at a derby near Fort Lauderdale, hey, frame back. All back. we went underwater with Project Baseline. Prepare to dive. It's a non-profit organization that's documenting the conditions of the world's oceans. Top side, Nemo reporting. My life support systems are okay and my vents are secured. Co-founder Robert Carmichael took us to a shipwreck 120 feet down where lionfish like to feed. There they are. Here come oh. the divers now. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe they can snag that lionfish over there. Lionfish can't be baited, trapped, or trawled. So the derby scuba divers must spear them one by one, exercising patience and caution to avoid their venomous spines. To prevent painful, though not deadly, stings, they place the fish in a plastic tube known as a zookeeper. Is it scary, do you think? for the divers to come face to face with a lionfish? Uh, they don't really attack you. It's just uh, the only risk you really run is if you mishandle the lionfish. Which is exactly what happened to diver Patrick Peacock. You got stung today. I did. I wasn't careful. He came free and he poked me and I had to end the dive. What did it feel like? It feels like a wasp times 10. The venom is contained in the entire length of the spine. But cut off those spines as they did at the derby. And you can handle it just like any other fish. And lionfish go from malicious to delicious. A little bit of celery? Really? Lionfish ceviche, anyone? It's good. Some of that day's catch was sent here to Norman's Key, a Caribbean restaurant in New York City. Oh, that looks so good. Since lionfish must be killed one at a time, it's expensive. And this is one of the few restaurants serving it. We're not making any money on the fish, that's for sure. Owner Ryan Chadwick sells the fish for around $26 a plate, less than what it costs. It's more about helping the ecosystem and doing something different. So this is not about money for you? Not this, no. And as for the taste? It's a white, flaky, 
buttery fish. This version is actually the, the jerk lionfish, so you'll have a little, a little heat, a little spice. And this is me spearing a lionfish? Yes, this is with you a fork. with a fork. With the fish on a plate? That's right. Okay. Oh, wow. That is really good. What do you think? I love it. It's actually very similar to snapper. Which makes Lad Aikens hope that maybe we can eat our way out of this problem. I think we have a lot of examples of eating through fish stocks. Here's a fish that needs to be controlled. And if we can provide a culinary value, I think we can impact the lionfish population just through removal for consumption. That sounds it, pretty good to it's me. It's a win-win for everybody, <laughs> except the lionfish. <laughs> if you bring your wallet and a sense of adventure. Wanna have the seats? Enjoy? Yeah, cool, man. Cheers.